The other day, my stove took a crap. And as I was throwing it into my 78 Dodge to haul it off to the dump, I thought to myself, wait a second, maybe this plug could be used for something and somewhat useful. And I came up with a hack that allows you to run your standard welder off of what a lot of homes have in them now, which is a plug for an EV charger. We're gonna talk over why you can't just go ahead and plug your welder as it stands straight into that EV charger, but how you can use an old stove plug to modify and work. Behind me is my Miller Multimatic 215 and also my Harbor Freight Plasma Cutter. Now, these both can run off of standard 120 and 240, uh, but the 240 plug looks like this. It's a three-prong plug and it takes three wires. And this is where you get into trouble if you look at your standard EV charger, which has plenty of amps and is the correct voltage, but it is a four wire plug. So just so you know, I'm not lying. Here's your plug. There's your EV charger. Those will not fit. Four, three, you can see the problem. Now, a while back, I lived at a place that had an old dryer in the garage and I went ahead and I made this up and this was the style plug that my dryer used. This is the style plug for a welder, so I could plug my welder into this, I could plug that into the wall and everything worked. But again, this is a different style plug as well from the car charger, but you can make this work if you've got some setup like this, or even if you don't, just using the pigtail from your old stove. So your standard wall outlet has a hot, neutral, and a ground. In the older styles where you don't see the ground, you just have a hot and a neutral. Well, pretty much everything now is a hot, neutral, and a ground, and that is 120. Now, the, the stove or the EV plug different? Well, this one has four wires. So what's the fourth wire? Well, you still have a ground. You've got two hots, but you also have a neutral. The EV plugs typically have a neutral, but you don't need the neutral wire and it's gonna be super easy to make this modification so that it all works correctly. Now I'm gonna be showing you this basically using this plug, but you could do this in the back of your welder, your plasma cutter, whatever, but I'm gonna be doing it on this because I already have this length of cord and this just gives me a little bit extra length so that I can move my welder a little bit further away. We're gonna start over here and we're gonna cut off the ends on this side. Now, obviously done with the breaker off, but just to confirm, you can see on the left and right hand side, which are the two larger lugs, are your two hots. Then you've got a neutral on top, which we will not be using, and the ground. It's a little bit hard to see, but that goes to the bottom. It's the same concept over here. We'll take our multimeter and we'll just triple check. Okay, we've got our multimeter set to continuity. And basically this is our ground. This should be our ground. We hear noise. We've got go to the neutral, that should be connected to nothing. That's a good sign. Then we've got our hot leg. We go to our other hot leg. Good. And now we've got our pigtail that allows our welder to be plugged in. Again, you could do this in the back of your welder and follow the exact same procedure that I did right here, and it would all work out. We're plugged in. We're plugged in. Come over here, hit the power switch. Let's see what she says. Boom. We are ready to rock. Heck yeah. Just a couple things I will point out because I know you're gonna say it. Um, number one, why don't you just change this plug? You can do that, that's totally fine. Um, but if you convert a four wire to a three wire in your wall, then you can plug your welder in, but you can't plug in your EV. So if you do it this way, you can plug your welder into the four wire and you're still your EV. It's up to you, but yes, you can do it that way. I just chose not to. The second question you're probably gonna say is, well, what if I don't have a little pigtail made up already? 
like I've been saying the whole time, just treat this little black box that I'm touching like the back of your welder. And if you can land wires in the back of your welder, you can use the stove plug and basically swap out a three wire plug for a four wire plug, just like I showed you and it'll work fine. Hopefully that makes sense. I guess the last thing you're probably gonna say is, well, you had a longer length of wire. Why didn't you just keep the side that was on this end and put a different plug on here? I guess I could have done that. And honestly, I probably will. Um, but I just wanted to see if this could be done. I had to learn a little bit about 240 power, talked to a couple electricians and was like, yeah, basically you don't need the neutral wire. For whatever reason, the EVs and I guess your stove, they want the neutral, but most your welders and plasma cutters, typical tools like that, they're gonna run off this. They just don't care about the neutral. So just make sure it's capped off well. And hopefully that helps. Next time you're about to go throw away an old stove or something like that, check it and it might be the exact same plug you need. Those things are like 40, 50 bucks. You have to go buy them. And if you need a longer length, wire is expensive. So this could save you some money if you've got a trash stove like I did and you get one more use out of it before you take it to the dump. Hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time on the channel.